Today, 2.7 billion people are online, almost 40% of the world's population. There are also 6.8 billion mobile phone subscriptions. We are in the middle of a digital revolution that will change the face of the world. But what exactly are we changing? We have a unique opportunity to use these fascinating innovations to save lives. How? By making sure that people in the most remote areas of the world have access to the same information and technology that we praise in other parts of the world. Information and technology can save lives before and after disasters. We need to enable people everywhere to be better prepared, alert and ready in times of an emergency and immediately respond should one strike. In fact, our experience shows that 90% of the lives saved after a disaster are saved by local people. Yet this 90% of first responders are often in the most vulnerable situations and are least likely to have access to life-saving technologies. This lack of access has a major impact on people's ability to prepare for, survive and recover from disasters. We need to harness the power of technology for all. For that, we need to build partnerships between communities, humanitarian organizations, governments and the private sector. We need to combine our unique expertise and experience in local knowledge, disaster management, emergency health, innovation, technology, public administration and much more to strengthen communities in the face of disasters around the world. Using technology to improve humanitarian action and save lives is a responsibility, not a choice.